Hello all, welcome back to our channel. In the past video, we have discussed what is Modbus and what are the offerings Siemens have to integrate with Modbus devices. In today's video, we will be discussing about CFC editor and what is FP and what are the interconnection possibilities of those APIs. So, uh, as you know, CFC is the main area where logical program will be written. So, instead of wasting time, let's get dive in. So, today's agenda, CFC editor in TCS 7 and what is FB concept and its interconnections. So as you can see, this is the CFC editor where programming logics will be written in our controller. So as you can see, these are all FB's function blocks. So this function block serves a application for the user program. So let's get familiar about the toolbar of CFC editor. So on the top banner, we'll be having different icons so each icon have its own purpose. First icon is catalog. So it will navigate for the default uh, APL libraries and the SFC libraries in PCS7. Second thing was runtime editor, where OBs were organized into according runtime. Third one was avoid implicit datums. So if a logic was implemented and it's having some logical issues like datum and all, this icon will automatically solve the uh, dead time issues. Fourth one, this is compile. So if we have any logical errors, if we, we need to do this compile before downloading it to our AS or PLC. So it will show any errors or warning uh, regarding the logic. And fifth one was download a sound program. So this button results downloading of the program or our CFC logic into PLC. And sixth one, CFC test mode. So this results in a virtual connection between uh, our PLC to our CFC area. So we, after pressing this one, we can see the actual runtime data on our AS7 cross-reference data. So all the data or data types which we have used in the sheets for our CFC editor area can be seen in an Excel kind of architecture where navigation is very easy. CFC chart reference data that is and eighth one is sheet view. So CFC mainly divided into six columns as you can see here and uh, we can add even more partitions to that CFC. So uh, to navigate between the sheets this sheet view is used. So basically in the catalog we have three areas blocks, charts and libraries. Block area is a simple navigation to already used FBs in the CFC editor. So if you already import any water or wall block in CFC editor, so if you want to duplicate it, we can navigate into this block area and you can find them in the corresponding areas like channel or drives, controls or monitoring for analog variables and all. You can find them in the blocks area, charts area. So if you want to implement a chart in chart connection or if you want to derive that to CFC as an FP, so all the CFCs that are created in our program will be listed here and lastly library area where you can find numerous uh, number of applications and uh, FB types. So if you want any kind of uh, logic area to be implemented as FB, we need to navigate here and we need to drop the block into our CFC area for the initial time. So generally how the uh, CFC work is like, so all our FBs will be targeted to the IOS of the PLC. So they will read the actual field signals and they will be given input as FB at the input of the FB and that FB will process the input and uh, gives the resultant in output. So that output will be directly can be seen at the right side of the FB or if we already configure a physical OS or a system which has uh, already uh, in CC runtime. We can see the actual operation of that uh, instrument which we have declared through the logic in the screen or face plate. So what is FP? So function block is nothing but logical interconnections which is uh, defined in a CFC chart and packed as a single block. So that can be multiply called uh, whenever we want a specific application. So uh, PCS7 uh, libraries will consist of these kind of uh, FB blocks which are tested and uh, they are used in number of applications. For example, if you consider a motor block that is already derived as an FB. So if you want to, if your application has uh, many motor blocks, you can use that uh, 
app b and uh, instantiate in next slide we will uh, look at the interconnection possibilities of app b so here what is the function block properties so as you can see a close up view of a water function block so uh, it will be having a brief uh, i mean a short note of the what is the functionality of that block here you can see it is mentioned as motor and what is block type motel so we have mot s mot m motel so uh, based on uh, what is the capacity of that motor uh, we will be having that notation and uh, this function block comment can be uh, changed like uh, just a user defined uh, comment for the block so uh, and the next thing is calling ob so in uh, for 10 plc we will be having ob cycles so uh, every ob cycle has its own every ob cycle has its own execution time so it will be calling according to the ob cycle call and next insertion position in cfc so where it is inserted if it is coming uh, like um, if i place it multiple block the number will be incremented according to the insertion position this is the third insertion position in the chart so i have two more blocks before placing this one so that's why it is notating as three insertion position in runtime so our ob cycle will be all, also having a number of blocks so they will be called uh, in a sequence manner so uh, this four represents the when it is going to be called in the ob cycle so here as you can see my catalog file will be having pcs7 api library from in uh, we have a different classes uh, where uh, fp blocks are already uh, configured so these are type blocks so we will instantiate by dragging and dropping into our cfc plane area so they will be instantiated and allocated with some db memory so uh, the all process is already automated so whenever we drag and drop fb it will be uh, considered as an instance and it will be automatically given some db or memory area so here uh, we can see uh, what are the possibilities of interconnections of uh, function blocks or weak blocks so uh, as you can see interconnection between function block so a direct interconnection is accepted if subjected if both data types are same cross chat interconnection if i create two different cfcs and i want to interconnect from one cft to other cfc then it is also possible by parallelly opening two cfcs and making an interconnection non visible connection so uh, our fp blocks will be having n number of pins even if it is not shown internally they might be configured so this can be enabled by opening corresponding fp blocks object properties and there will be a notation called visibility of the pin we can enable them or based on our convenience we can disable them so if we are making a connection to a non visible pin so the corresponding fp will be uh, blinked with in blue color so that results that means some invisible interconnection is existed f block connection to hardware signals so as i told our cfc will be directly taking inputs from ios so the hardware signals will be represented like this and the memory area will be declared like in this pv underscore in so it will take data from that corresponding i0.1 and it will process the signal and last one textual interconnection textual interconnection means if i already have i mean if i don't have that block yet and it will be derived in future so in case uh, we can create an textual interconnection so we will be uh, having this yellow color mark so it is not present at uh, now but in future it will be declared and then it will be automatically closed that corresponding block which we have declared we have created that it will be automatically closed and there you have it guys uh, a brief uh, introduction of what is cfc editor what are the options available in cfc editor and what is fb block and how to instantiate an fb block in pcs7 and what are the interconnection possibilities in pcs7 cfc editor if you found this video helpful don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content on industrial automation thank you for watching and we'll see you in next video goodbye